Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm introducing the new Painted Petals Turnabout Toolkit from Concord 9th's February release. So let's get started. If you're new to Turnabout Stamps, the Turnabout Toolkit has everything you need to get crafty. Concord 9th has always had great packaging and this kit is no exception. Slide off the decorative band and the kit unfolds to share a fun message from the company. Open the flap and you'll find a 4-pack of Concord 9th mini ink cubes in Aqua Sky, Grapefruit, Peacock, and Stardust. A specialty pack of coordinating cardstock in the same colors is also available to purchase separately. Inside there's also repositionable adhesive and an adhesive remover, Then there's a step-by-step -step brochure for how to use turnabout stamps and the turnabout jig. It's a great reference guide to keep with your turnabout stamps. Next we have the exclusive Painted Petals turnabout stamp that comes with an alignment guide and is only available with this kit. On the back you can see what the stamp design looks like with each turn. There's a 6x6 turnabout jig that's the key to successfully using the turnabout stamps, an exclusive painted petals die set that contains coordinating dies for the set, as well as a few standalone sentiments and shapes. And finally, four A2 card bases and four envelopes to create your cards. To start, every turnabout comes with an alignment guide with a design and diagonal lines printed on a piece of clear plastic. The first step is to align the stamp design up with the design on the alignment guide. Once you've used the stamp a few times, it'll be a little ink stained and easier to line up. Next you'll place your turnabout jig in the corner of your MISTI or whatever stamp positioner tool you have. The jig is impressed with diagonal lines that match the lines on the alignment guide. Once the jig is snug in the corner of your MISTI, place the alignment guide with the stamp on top and line up the diagonal lines. Then hold the alignment guide in place with your magnets, close the MISTI lid to pick up the stamp, and then peel off the alignment guide. Now your turnabout stamp is set up to work with the jig. Next, take an A2 card panel and add a little repositionable adhesive to the back. The jig is also impressed with guide marks for a landscape or portrait oriented card. So once there's adhesive on your card panel, you can use the guide marks to line up and temporarily adhere your card panel to the jig. At this point, your card panel won't leave the jig until all your layers are stamped. We're now ready to stamp, so I ink up the Painted Petals Turnabout Stamp with grapefruit ink and close the misty lid. I press gently on the stamp images and then re-ink and repeat the first stamping to get a good crisp impression. Then I clean off my stamp in the jig with a chamois before using my next color. In the corner of the jig, you'll see numbers 1 through 4. After stamping my first layer, I turn the jig to the right until the number 2 is in the top right corner. Then I place the jig back in the corner of my MISTI and secure it with magnets. It's important that you don't move the cardstock panel, just the jig. Now I ink up the next color, Aqua Sky, and stamp it on the card panel. As you can see, the design neatly fits around the grapefruit stamping without overlapping. 
Again, I stamp it twice for a good impression. Then I clean off my stamp and turn my jig to the right once more. This time I ink it with peacock ink and stamp it twice. I'm not a huge fan of the stardust color included in the kit, but I like the idea of a yellowish shade as my fourth color, so I decide to let the panel dry completely and use embossing powder for my fourth layer. I don't use my heat gun to dry the ink because it can warp the jig. I also don't want to remove the panel from the jig because I might not be able to realign it exactly. So instead, I just remove the jig from the misty and let it air dry for 15 minutes while I take a coffee break. While that's drying, I want to quickly address inking the stamps. As you can see when I'm stamping, there's a lot of ink all over the actual stamp and not just the stamped image. The turnabout stamps aren't super deep cut images, so you don't want to do CPR type pressing on your misty lid. If you do press hard like that, you'll notice that you may end up accidentally getting ink smudges like on this sample panel. But if you just keep to pressing only on the actual stamped images themselves, you'll get a nice crisp impression every time and no smudges. Anyway, now that my ink is dry, I'm placing my panel back inside my misty with a number four in the top right corner. I've prepped the panel with my anti-static powder tool and now I'm stamping my last layer with embossing ink. I carefully peel the panel off the jig and spoon gold embossing powder over the design. I let my heat gun heat up for a few seconds and then heat emboss the powder. To clean off the jig, simply rub your adhesive remover over the tape residue and it'll gum up and you can brush it away. Off camera, I trim that A2 panel down to 4 by 5 and a quarter and adhere it to a card base. For my sentiment, I stamp the label words with peacock ink and die cut the standalone hello from white cardstock three times. I adhere the hello die together with liquid glue and use the coordinating die to die cut each of the label sentiments. Next, I press my embossing ink pad over the hello sentiment and heat emboss it with gold embossing powder to match the background panel. I repeat this two more times for a smooth metallic finish. Then I die cut the circle included in the kit with vellum to soften the pattern and make the sentiment easier to read. I adhere the sentiment to the vellum and then adhere the vellum to the background panel. Sometimes you can see adhesive behind vellum, so I apply liquid adhesive only to the back of the sentiments to hide the adhesive. 
Finally, off camera add a few metallic gold sequins to finish the card. This kit is packed with products that will allow you to easily use all of the Concord 9th turnabout stamps, try out the ink colors if you haven't already, and make gorgeous floral backgrounds and cards with the exclusive painted petals set. And that's it! I hope this video helps you be a little more comfortable and confident using Concord 9th turnabout stamps, but if you still have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check out the rest of the February release from Concord 9th. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in, and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye!